Alright guys, apologies for the flickering in the last video. Um, I think it was these lights up here reacting with the GoPro. Um, something to do with 50 hertz cycles. In Australia it's 50 hertz, but the GoPro is in multiples of 60. So learn this as you go along. Um, back on to the, we'll do the butt section of the Vickers machine gun for the Sopworth Camel. Alright, so just marked it out, my four butt sections, or well, they're going to be the sides, we'll start with that, here with the jigsaw. Alright, so I just, my little tree, I just tape everything together, I taped all those together, and just cut all four pieces together, same as these end pieces, masking tape, marked it, and they'll fit in there perfectly. Um, Dimensions aren't that critical, I guess, but just get everything square and then the lid will go on. Going well. Alright, nailed together. Decided to fill it just with some spack filler, fill the nail holes, and we'll hit that on the belt sander after we have a cuppa. Alright, so what could possibly be the smallest part of the aircraft? Just working with what I've got. Gun sight, bit of hinge. And a bit of T piece extrusion I had, and I'm able to simulate just working with what I've got. Bit of fun, see how it turns out. Playing with the little gun sights, I'm not sure where I'm going with this, but I might leave a space at the back for handles or something to attach to rather than put the sight right at the back, take up valuable real estate. Now, people are probably, I've had a few visitors in the hangar, you know. Here's my setup. It's a bit like making a cake, guys, I guess. While you're making the cake, it doesn't look like much, but I can visualise the end result. So if you sort of work with me here, you know, it's going to be matte black and just things like this. You know, it's what I had. It saves me making something. A couple of holes. And Fennigan looks like a gun sight. Probably a little bit wide, but who cares? It's just when it's all black, from a distance, it's just going to add texture. So, I think they're going great. A few people are probably laughing at me. But I can see the end result, and I'm really looking forward to that. So, we'll stick at it. And if they don't work, I'll hang them on the wall. So, we just added the, uh, I think that's like an ejection port lever or something. Just plywood with a washer, tech screw. Like I said, give it some texture, gun sights. Two of them, so you can sort of see where this is heading. Um, but most of that is buried in the cow. All right, so moving on, just made like an ejection port. This arm on the side, just with a penny washer, some screws, gun sights, little handle, just an Uzi what's it cut out of plywood, and that's where the rounds would go in. If I put a belt on there, I'm just not sure how much will be buried. But I'm almost ready to paint. And then that'll sit on the um that makes up the machine gun. To cap off, just marked it, glued it, screwed it, and then that should bolt back on or rivet back on. So here we go. Here we go. Just about call that finished, I think. Got the muzzles on the front, bit of plywood in there with the tube, riveted on, corrugations. I went every corrugation. There was an uneven amount, so I was going every second one, but then you end up with an odd amount. So went every one, but also that stiffens it up, screws in there, um, feels solid enough for now. Bit of texture, injection port, whatever that handle is. Um, Little knobby, the gun sights, the feed chamber. Man, that weird looking thing. I might just put a um, put a couple of screws once again just for some texture on there. Plan now, I'll get some three in one or some, I'll seal the wood um, and spray it all with a primer. Sort of an etching primer on there and probably over the the wood sealer as well. And we'll lay some paint. Alright guys, might call that one finished for now. Um, 
next episode. Make an extra episode in there if you like. But I'll get on to painting now. Um, otherwise the videos just go a bit too long. So there, imagine sitting behind these. I guess about that far in the cockpit. Sit behind the two Vickers machine guns. See you on the next one.